I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another part of Let's Play Battle Brothers. At the end of the previous episode we accepted another contract, this time much better than the one from Weisenfest that cost us all the reputation with House Niedergaard. This time they want us to destroy an orc camp, kill some orcs, bring them their heads, it's uh, more like it. And um, uh, because I was quite far away from... Where did we get it, by the way? Walstein? I think in Walstein. It was across like half the map. I said that I would uh, travel there off camera. So here we are, right next to the camp. And it's a pretty small camp, but it has <laughs> quite a strong garrison. Many orc warriors and orc warlord. Just a few young and a few berserkers, so let's make it much easier. Uh, they should go down pretty quickly and we can focus on warriors and warlord. But still, it will be a lot more challenging than I expected. Uh, I was thinking about moving shade forward. I think... Actually, no. Let's try to do it without shade. It's a bit risky leaving one two-handed hammer in the reserve but basically instead of uh, shade we are taking Kaspar the problem here is that uh, this flank is a little weak now maybe I could do something like this Still not ideal, but it will have to do. Okay. And I'll try to attack from the forest. Make it even easier. Let's go. Yeah, we are fighting in the forest, good. How does it look like? Well, they will have to pull it up a bit. Not much. Is the warlord here? He has a 200 X, so we'll have to focus on him as much as possible before he gets to us. And how many warriors? Two, four, six, eight, nine. Maybe more even. Two, four. There's still one orc that we don't see. Maybe I just can't count. That's also possible. Yeah, there is one. Just wait for them, don't want to move forward. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's try to kill some 
by a certain two-handed axe. And I was thinking that maybe I should activate the indomitable. I didn't. I think, ah, you'll probably try to go this way. Yeah, of course I was wrong. Let's get the vision again. At least we got lucky that the warlord uh, stayed behind. They blocked his path, he tried to go this way, then he changed his mind, so that'll take him like two turns at least to catch up with the rest. That makes it a bit easier. Finish him off. Good. to move away from here. Oh, wait. Can hit the warlord, let's do that. I think Apostolus will help here and then everyone else moves north because it might be in trouble here. Douglas is getting a bit overwhelmed.
to move forward. This gets me close to Warlord, but next turn I can move away from him. Well, hopefully I can move away from him. Depends if the Orkian finds a way how to stun Stavare. is that no matter what I do there will be always a risk that I hit one of our guys I'll risk it of course it didn't work come on oh. better than hitting Stavarik <laughs> Just move out of there. Yes, I'm not sure if um, the warlord can move one tile and then attack. Because I'm not sure how far I have to run. here if he can attack then I hope that he moves on this style and uses the round attack instead of going for single target attack because with the single target attack he can one shot anyone if he gets lucky to make a really good move by knocking Douglas to the Warlord and then he uses knockback as well and just uses a war cry. Of course it's good for us because uh, now we have another turn to do something about the Warlord. That was such a good chance for them to do a lot of damage. I have to do this. 
We need to stack some overwhelm on the warlord. So far they are pretty much close. First time and we hit one of ours. I would injure him. Okay, fingers crossed. Alright, was just another word, right? Still pretty risky. Okay, he missed. Good. Quite a bad reward, not reward, loot. Needs a break, definitely Stavarek and Werden. Everyone else should be fine, it was just them. Yeah. It took almost all attacks. Also, on the way to the camp, I found this location, the Hollow Bones Crypt, and I think on the way back you could clear it. Again, I have to start fighting more often because our morale is going down and it'll take some time before we reach invincible we can't rely on the morale boost from ambitions uh, do we have both surgeons one surgeon here one surgeon here and yeah it looks good probably zombies i guess yep 34 mobs Another massive army, and there is a necromancer. The position isn't that bad. This looks like ghosts everywhere.
isn't that many fallen heroes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ghosts. That's a lot. There are some of them coming from the north. And the ghosts are already moving forward. That was fast. At least some of the ghosts. On the other hand, now the Necromancer doesn't have cover, so you should be able to kill him easily. Good. Start by destroying the shield. This will be a horrible turn. Yeah. I was hoping that maybe a miracle would happen and somehow no one would panic, but. How many? Oh, it's only three. Could have been worse.
kill at least one zombie. Maybe? Also wasn't too bad. Also, but Chrome Rider doesn't have a target. If I wait, then the fallen hero jumps in. If I move forward, he jumps in anyway, and I'll be closer to those ghosts. But let's just wait. Sobol tries to move back, he runs into the ghost. And it's worse than staying here. doesn't make it.
if I move forward, then I won't be able to attack anyway, so I might as well stay here. Um, Douglas again panicked, and I'm quite sure it happened after uh, one of the screams. He should be immune to that. Wait, now we have to kill this guy. Come on, seriously. that Bertman has enough uh, stamina for another rally and that he succeeds. Good. And I think next turn, no matter what happens, he has to move back and kill this ghost. now we need someone here uh, can we get there this is the best thing I can do now I'll just move Cronar down I have to make sure that the fallen hero doesn't get to our arches of course Okay, two goes down, six to go. Someone has to kill the zombie, let's wait. Fallen hero. Damn it. Good. So that's the last ghost on this side. Now we can send everyone up. Rally or attack? I think attack. No! No, that was such an important attack and we missed. Hmm. Now 
biggest problem is the Sobo will probably try to run this way, run into the ghost. Or not. It's actually quite lucky since that gave us a chance for that split. And also, this is a chance to get into better position if Sobo panics again. I have to figure out how to kill the zombie. Well, that's like made it, so it's okay. Sneak back. Again, managed to recover somehow. It's part of, I think, for the third, third time during this fight that he recovered just in time. That was so stupid. I was already thinking about next turn. Don't, don't, don't. Oof. Oh, we're not <laughs> making this boring. I was already thinking, okay, next turn should I move on to this tile or this tile? And I didn't check if it's already the next turn and run right into the middle of this. Well, now if Bertie wants to survive, he just has to kill both the ghosts. That's not a good start. Try the dog. I think that's probably my best shot. Oh, that's a wrong target. I'm so nervous now. Because hmm. this is much higher priority now. So everyone can attack, we'll try to kill him. There we go. Seventy-four. Good. Wow. That was too close. Level up for our Ar for likes so at least something. What about the reward? Pretty much what I expected. Oh, 
are still or they are still offering decent prices for our items so the decreased reputation didn't affect prices as much as I expected Types of tools and supplies. Let's get the ammo and anything else. No. Okay. Uh, one more thing. Those level ups. One, two, uh, probably three. For Alric, one, two, and I have to work on the fatigue. Three. So off camera, I'll go to Bolstein, and probably after I get the reward, I'll try to find another contract off camera as well. And I'll come back when I know. Or when I have the contract and know where we have to go. Hopefully we will find another contract. How does it look like our reputation? Uh, 7,075. So we did two contracts and got like 50 reputation from... Or no reputation, renown from that. Uh, expected more than that. What they Ages to get to Invincible. I still need over 900. Oh well, what can we do, right? I don't definitely don't want to cancel the ambition. Um, so yeah, we are done for this episode. So as usual, I hope that you liked it. I hope that you're gonna join me for the next one again. And until then, have a good time. Bye bye.